Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we'll be looking at looking at an example on ellipse by using approximate method to construct the ellipse. We are giving our major axis to be 176 and we are giving our minor axis to be 108. So like I said earlier, the first thing you do, you take your set square you draw your vertical line or your horizontal line and you are going to also use your set square and you draw your vertical line so we have in this right so from here doing that you are going to get the center. Now we are told that our major axis is 176. So I'm taking here to be my vertical and I'm taking here to be my horizontal, right? So that means my vertical, my major axis, my minor axis will be at the horizontal, my major axis will be at the vertical. So we are giving the minor axis to be what? CD, which is what? 108. So half of 108 is 50, 54, right? So I am going to measure the 108, right? So I'm going to measure the 108. So I'll take my C square. I'm going to pick up that 108, which is 54 half of it so I'll place it here so on the horizontal I'm going to mark 54 I'm also going to mark 54 right so I'll, call, I'll turn that to be my CD so I'm taking my horizontal to be what CD and my vertical to be what A B so the AB half of the 176 is 88. So I'm going to measure 88 on my meter rule. This is 88 here. Right? And I'll place it here. I'll mark 88 up. And I'm going to mark 88 down. Right? So let me move this. So at this point. At this point here. I'm going to have this. No. This is my point here. So I'll call here to be A and what? And B. Now, I've forgotten this A, B, right? Taking this to be my major axis and this to be my minor axis. So the next thing I'll do is that um, I am going to draw an horizontal line from my A to C. Can you see that? From A to C, I'm going to draw an horizontal line. So this is my, my line that will join A to C. Then the next thing I'll do, I'm going to take from this center here to point A, right? I'm going to draw an arc that will cut at the horizontal. So I'll call that point the arc means the horizontal to be point E so the arc is missing the horizontal at this point here at this point here missing it here at point E now the next thing I'll do is to join it will just C with point C and radius E here, 
Hmm? I'm going to draw an arc that will cut AC. I'll draw an arc that will cut AC and I'll call that point, point F. Now the next thing I'll do is to bisect A and F. So placing my compass at AF here, I'll bisect, cut here, and I'll cut here. I'll place it here too. I'll bisect here. And this point too, you cut here. Now you now join this where they intersect, you join them together. Right? And you'll be having a line like this. Now what you do is you draw the line such that the line is going to cut at the horizontal line here. You draw your line so that it will cut at the horizontal line here. At this point here. Here. At this point here. So you might extend the line. This line you extend it. Right? So when you extend this line. So where it cuts this point here, you call it H1. And when it cuts this vertical line here, you call it point G1. Now, with all this you've done, you take from the center here, right? You place it at G and you cut the other side. So that will be what? G2. Now, you do the same thing here. From the center here, you take to H1 and you cut the other side. And that will be what? H2. So with what you've done, what I mean by my H2 here, what I mean by H2, you place it after taking the H1 from the center here, you mark it to get what your H2. So we haven't done that. So what you do here is that with G1, you draw your line from H2 cut G1 like this and you draw a line from still the same H2 to cut G2 and you still from your line from H1 to still cut G2 now this is what you are having here this way so what you do here is this so with radius G here, you place it at A, hmm? and you're going to draw an arc this way. You thicken it. Can you see that? And we just G two. You repeat the same feet. You repeat the same feet here. Right, then the next thing is at radius H2. You look at the H2 here from this point. From H2, you draw your arc to D and you connect both of them this way. Can you see that? From H to here, that what you do. Then the next thing from from um, H one, you do the same thing. You place your compass here, and you take it to C. You see here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And you connect them together. You gauge it. And you connect. Now this is our ellipse. 
using approximate method thanks for watching don't forget to click on the subscribe button